Okay, I'm going to do a video here of all of my favorite St. Louis Cardinal baseball cards, uh, the vintage ones that I put into one-touch holders. And um, we're going to start with um, my favorite Bob Gibson card, the beautiful 1969 Topps card. Um, absolutely love the colors, love the pose. Um, that is the year after he set all those records with the 1.12 in the complete games. Uh, just a great card. And we're going to go to my favorite Lou Brock card. The Beautiful high number or semi high numbered 1968 tops. Another awesome card. Um, didn't have it as a kid because I'd stopped buying cards by the time these came out. These didn't come out till late August. I was already done buying cards for the summer. Um, and uh, I remember when I first saw it, I was. I was amazed. I didn't even know the card was out, and I was just fascinated by the color and just the cool pose, and just just a great card all around. Here's the um, here's the back. Shows him living in Olivet, Missouri. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, we'll go back to, uh, well actually, let's skip around. Let's not do all the Gibsons and Brock first. This is the leader of the Albertos, Red Chain East, semi-high numbered, 1967 tops. Uh, very cool card, a little pricey. Um, not a whole lot out there, some, but uh, not a whole lot, but it's a really nice card. Card very vivid in my memory. 69 tops of Tim McCarver. That would be his last Cardinal card. As he was dealt to Philadelphia after the uh, 69 season in the infamous Kurt Flood trade. So, always loved that card, had it as a kid. Very nice. Okay. There's Orlando Cepeda. He was MVP in 67. He arrived in 66, played part of the year here in 66, all of 67 and all of 68, and was traded to Atlanta in the Joe Torre trade. Very cool card. Looks like he's outside the batting cage. Another card that reminds me of my youth, the very cool card of Julian Javier, second baseman, Juli. Um, love the 69 set. Very nice. I love the I love the yellow and the red together on all these. Here's a card that I did not have as a kid. That is the 1967 Tops of Mike Shannon. Um, this card um, was in the final series, so it wasn't released until very late in the summer. And um, 
it was found out many years later that it was short printed. Then they found out that not only short printed, there just isn't a whole lot out there to go along with it. And um, hence the price uh, skyrocketed. Currently now, you're lucky to get one under $100. There's the back. It's number 605. Um, and uh, the set was had 609 cards. So, anyway, that's kind of the story behind that. Here's another Mike Shannon card, 68. Very cool card. Looks like he's down at spring training. Not sure what he's getting ready to do. He's getting ready to go back for a fly ball, possibly. Anyway, like that card a lot. One of my favorites. Here's one more of Shannon. This is the same situation as the 67. This is the 71. That is a short print, high numbered card um, from the set, final series. And actually, he didn't even play in 71. He got sick in 1970 played part of the year and then they were hoping he would play in 71 and never did so um, that's his final card I think it's 735 is the number yep 735 and that is short printed um, a little pricey too Here's the 1969 Kurt Flood. Turns out that's his last Cardinal card as well, as he was dealt to Philadelphia with McCarver and Horner, I believe. And of course, we all know the story, he refused to report sued baseball for the reserve clause, tried to get some freedom for the players to be able to decide where they want to play, and um, briefly came back in 71, but um, only played a few games and then quit. He was with Washington in 71. There's his 68 card, very cool card, I love that set. It's my favorite set of the 60s. Great pose. And there's another 68, Roger Maris. This is his only card in a Cardinal uniform. Uh, in 67, he had the, um, the card that he was looking up in the air and you couldn't see the cap. There was no team revealed because he was in a Yankee uniform, yet he had already been traded. So they had him as a Cardinal, but he wasn't in Cardinal uniform. So this is um, his final year in the major leagues and he uh, w that's it he, he never played again and um, got in two World Series with the Cardinals and um, story has it it was his favorite time as a ball player being here in St. Louis he was um, apparently really good friends with Mike Shannon and then also he was 
best friends with Whitey Herzog. I think he had met Whitey Herzog back in the late 50s or early 60s um, when he was, they were both, um, it was before he went to the Yankees when he was with the Kansas City. Anyway, uh, there's the uh, shortstop for the Albertos, the 68 Del Maxville. Solid field, light hitting. Tim McCarver, that's a 67, that is a semi-high number, harder to find card of his, there's some out there on eBay, not a lot, they can get very pricey, especially the graded ones, but um, you can pick up non-graded ones for 10, 15, 30 bucks. Exact same with this one. Um, Semi high numbered 67 of Bobby Tolan. Uh, same as McCarver. Um, Semi high numbered. Uh, there's some out there, but you're going to pay a premium for it. A very cool card. Cool card around Willis. Was not a star, but it reminds me of having that card as a kid. So I'm showing it. Actually, that was his last think that's his last major league card yeah he was not in the 70 set that's his last card he played a few games for Houston and I think San Diego after this and that was it he was retired another card that reminds me of being a kid Dick Hughes I love that card as a kid love just Love the set, love the color, love just the coolness of having a Cardinal, opening up a pack and getting a Cardinal. Uh, this was in the first series. I think he's number 39. Yep, 39. Anyway, he, um, he had a great year in 67, 68. He had a sore arm, didn't pitch a lot. Um, Made one appearance in the World Series, and his arm was shot, and he never pitched again. He did not did not pitch in '69. But they had a card for him, which I'm glad. Okay, the rest are going to be Brock and Gibson cards. There's the World Series card. Game four, Brock and Denny McLean's second pitch into the deepest part of the ballpark. Crushed it. Here's a 67 Gibson. Cool card. Sixty seven Brock. Sixty nine checklists with Gibson on it. Getting that in packs in the first series of uh, 69. 
love the fact that Gibson was on there. 1970 Lou Brock. Why that's blurry. Anyway, 70 Brock, very cool. Loosening up, get ready to hit. There's a 1970 Gibson. Great card, love it. There's a 67 special card. Brock and Flood. Card Clovers. Actually, you can see in the background over Flood's head. Um, I'm not sure if that's Maris or not. It, he wasn't there in 66 when this picture was taken. So that, that can't be Maris. Unless they took the picture in spring training and put it in the first series. Because that's number 63. That, that can't be Maris. There's uh, Gagliano, 16, over Brock's left shoulder. There's a 69 tops commemorating Gibson's first game of the World Series in 68. He struck out 17 batters. My dad was there. I got the ticket stub, which I should show you. Hang on. Yeah, it's tucked away in a top loader, forget it. Anyway, here's another one of my favorite Lou Brock cards, 69. I think the color is incredible. Outside the cage, posing. Looks like Mike Shannon in there hitting. Could be. There's a 68 Brock All-Star Sporting News. Very cool card. I did have that as a kid. Loved it. Loved the 68 set. Card very vivid in my memory. The 71 Gibson. Shannon in the background I'm not sure that looks like they got their gray away uniforms on that it's not Bush Stadium anyway love that card There's 68 Gibson used a headshot because he when he posed for his picture he grabbed a left-handed glove and followed through like a lefty and they took the picture they realized he was jacking around uh, they pulled it and used an old headshot so that's the story of why there's a headshot on that card There's a 65 Brock, uh, it's a high numbered short printed card, um, that was right after they uh, won the World Series over the Yankees. Not a fan of the blue hats, but it's a, uh, it's a great card, hard to get. And we'll go, there's the 68 all-star of Gibson. Love that card. 
my favorite set. And one more from Brock. 71 semi-high numbered short printed card. Very cool. I vaguely remember having this or somebody in the neighborhood having this card, but it was again released towards the end of the season and I'm not sure I was even buying cards at that point. And um, there was no other way to get cards but kids in the neighborhood, so somebody might have had it, but either way, it's a great card. It's pricey too. And here's the last one. It's from Bob Gibson rookie card. 1959 tops. Very cool. Uh, I was going to show the Brock rookie, but he's in a Cubs uniform. So I don't, or he's got a Cubs hat on or what have you. Um, not a Cub hater, but I just don't really want to show. This is a Cardinal video, so I didn't want to show uh, a Brock and a Cubs card so anyway there was other good ones to show so um anyway uh that's it like the video subscribe make a comment if there's some things you want to see i got plenty to show you uh if you got some uh, something to request put it in the comments um thanks for watching bye